here. This is uh, some description of how uh, you can make things happen and how you can make the menu look different. We're going to uh, create a style which we're calling XP style. Um, and labeling this whole thing WinXP hyphen menu. Um, and we're defining this style with the edge is going to be a certain edge size. Um, and a certain color with no effect um, and the whole menu style is going to be white with a certain spacing no effect and again we have uh, the item style now instead of the menu style we have the item style and we can uh, describe the font and the colors and again the edge colors and so forth and then this is the important part um, you can, uh, you can, as you've seen, include an action directly after any any menu item. You can also put it in uh, an action block. And so far, uh, so for, for example, here you've got a little block with a switch conditional and default thing to do. But, for example, if we wanted to, uh, it'll go through it. what was selected, and if it, uh, for example, was selected, if the user selected exit, we could quit. Um, if the user selects win a prize, uh, here in this case, we're going to have it alert win. And of course, these blocks could be any block of code. It could be 100 lines long, 1,000 lines long. Uh, we could uh, uh, you know, download a module from the internet, do whatever we want with, with these menu items. They let us do things with the program in the GUI. Um, and then the default thing that's going to happen is it's just going to print again. The way to refer to these items is item body text. And in this case, we'll just print that. We also have um, uh, a little uh, event close so that if the uh, user clicks on close, we could trap, for example, like we've done in previous. Um, uh, in previous tutorials, we could trap that close action and, and do something, for example, to make sure, for example, that, that all the data has been saved before we close out the program. And then here is the actual GUI. We're calling this this layout, this GUI layout window. Uh, again, we're giving it a sizer. It's going to be 400 by 500 pixels. And I'm going to uh, use the WinXP style. So here's a menu bar using the menu data that we had above and using the menu style XP spot XP style that's been defined above and uh, here this is interesting we're creating a button with the text menu button on it and uh, we're going to put a menu on it um, and this is the the code that allows us to do it and again allows us to um, set the size of the menu and that, that sort of thing. At the very bottom, we're going to view the layout and we're centering it on the uh, on the screen. The view, essentially what this is saying is view center face layout size uh, 400 by 500 with that whole block. Copy and paste this and you'll see this looks like a typical Windows menu setup. Most of this is just cop copy and paste code. You're you put your own items in, your own menu items, and you put your own action code in. And uh, you've got a usable template here for a, uh, for a Windows type of layout. And you'll see in the example uh, that's given how you create a typical Mac um, look and feel. how to do uh, other looks and feels that are appropriate and there's quite a few examples of all the advanced for example animated icons and other things that you can do uh, with this little uh, menu module it's a fantastic and necessary uh, module for working with menus in Rebel paste that whole thing into Rebel view and you'll see it's everything that you've seen plus 
Uh, it has this little menu button in it, so got items with uh, secondary uh, secondary options. We had given an action to this that we had it say uh, you win. Let's see the little separators that we put in are there. Um, the uh, key sequence is available. This will just print. Any of these other items will just print. You can see it's got a shadow, just as you would expect in any operating system uh, menu. Now, here we've got, again, the button coming off of the menu button. It's got that same menu, the same thing that we, that we have above with the secondary menus and so forth. 